Welcome to at Mark Smelly Bell's YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'm your resource for the carnivore diet. A lot of you have been on the carnivore diet for many days now, maybe 15, 16 days or so. And I wanted to share with you how much variety you can have in this diet. So I'm going to give you an example of five, six, seven things I've eaten over the last couple weeks, over the last couple days to stay committed to the carnivore diet. Number one is I've had fast food, in and out Burger. They're called Flying Dutchman. For those of you that aren't on the West Coast and can't enjoy the amazing flavors of in and out Burger, you can go to McDonald's, you can go to Wendy's, you can go to Sonic, you can go to any of these places and you can order basically just a patty, a patty and cheese. It's only a dollar or two at almost all these spots. Very inexpensive, can help keep you on the diet. We don't always want fattier meats like that, but to have them here and there, to have a fatty, you know, fatty meat once a day is uh, totally fine, even if your goal is to lose weight. Now, I know some people are saying, hey, it's a carnivore diet. I thought you eat as much fat as you want. Well, you've been misinformed. I don't think that you get to eat as much fat as you want uh, if you're trying to lose body fat, especially if you're noticing that you're not making progress then you already know that it's not working. My suggestion is to eat lean meat two or three times a day, and maybe once a day have a fattier meal. Uh, let's see, option number two, uh, one of my favorite go-tos is just an omelet. Let's not forget, you can mix up some whole eggs, some cheese, some bacon, some sausage, leftover steak from the night before, and you can make an omelet that's absolutely unbelievable. The third thing that I've had in the last several days is a chaffle. A chaffle is simply a combination of cheese and egg blended together and put into a waffle maker. Please watch my previous video on how I made a chaffle and how you can make one too. The fourth thing I've had over the last several days, a mixture of Piedmontese beef mixed in with marinara sauce. I shot a video on that for Smelly's Kitchen. Please check that out as well. Smelly's Kitchen goes Italian, right? And we all we did, I took two packets of 96.4 lean ground beef, which was over 200 grams of protein. I took that and mixed it with half a thingy majigger, half a thingy majig of uh, some tomato sauce. You want to pick a healthier tomato sauce? Go for it. If you don't care, who cares? I don't think it's a big, uh, big deal. Remember, we're after consistency here. We're not after being fancy. We're after consistency. So if you eat five, six, seven, eight carbs, 10 carbs from some tomato sauce, don't sweat it. And also, don't listen to these other bitch ass people talking about carnivore and keto and getting worried about it if you're eating a couple carbs or if God forbid, you're to eat something that's slightly off plan. What you tell them is when they say, you're not allowed to eat that on a carnivore diet. Tell them, you know what? Why don't you go fuck yourself? Because Mark Smelly Bell, I watch his channel every day, and he told me it's totally fine. So you tell him I sent you. Another thing I've eaten in the last couple days that I really like that's different, that you don't always really see on a carnivore diet, is hot dogs. I know that people think hot dogs are gross or whatever, or they're made up of this or that. I get my hot dogs from certified Piedmontese, but the hot dogs from there, only 10 grams of fat. I forget the grams of protein, I'll just say 20, because I think that's what it is. It's kind of flipped. You know, normally a hot dog is 20 grams of fat and 10 grams of protein, but those are delicious too, and you can get any type of hot dog that you want, and go ahead and, you know, if you want to roll through 7-Eleven and eat a hot dog because you think it's fun or funny, go for it. <laughs> My wife made this the other day, and this might sound gross, but it's boiled chicken. I know right away people are like, boiled chicken breast, oh my God. Boiled chicken breast and then shredded chicken. You shred it apart. She threw it in a pot, threw it in there with some salsa that we both like and some salt. And that was it. Game over. 
amazing. It was so damn good. Oh, she threw chicken stock in there as well. So chicken stock and salsa. You could do the same thing with a bone broth or something like that. And when I made it, I threw a little bit of cheese in there and it was uh, just absolutely delicious. I've cooked up some uh, burgers at home. I've cooked up some steaks at home. And you know what, guys? Look, I, you, you don't see every video. You don't see every single piece of footage every single time I eat like you did last year when I did Carnivore 100. That was excruciating to film that much stuff. So I didn't do that this year. I'm sharing as much as I can with you, but I still don't share it all. You want to know what I eat most of the time? Most of the time, I turn on my stove, I use a frying pan, and boom, I throw some steak in there and I cook it up. And it could be any type of meat. I don't really care what kind of, uh, what kind of meat it is, but it's usually a steak. It's usually some type of steak. And a lot of times I'll even chop up the steak, which is kind of sacrilegious for steak eaters. Like you don't, you don't go chopping up a filet mignon, you know, like it seems ridiculous, but sometimes I do it because I eat meat all day and it's just out of convenience. So I don't need a restaurant style filet mignon four or five times a day, although that would be fantastic. A lot of times I'm chopping this stuff up. Sometimes it's cheaper meat. Sometimes it's flank steak. Sometimes it's a New York strip. Sometimes it's a this, sometimes it's a that. A ribeye. Sometimes it's a tri-tip. Like it could be whatever. Chop that damn thing up, heat it up in the pan to my liking, to the temperature that I like, with some salt on it. Every once in a while I'll throw a little bacon grease in there or butter. Just get the pan hot. It tastes amazing. So, and then let's not forget, I, I've mentioned this many times before, we got Jello. So if you like Jello, Jello with some heavy cream on it is great. Very, very low calorie. Sugar-free Jello, of course. Uh, bone broth is great. A lot of times when I make bone broth, you guys seen my bone broth recipe many times. I was, uh, I use bone broth. I usually will heat it up. I'll blend up an egg or two in there with some butter and the egg kind of gets cooked because of the temperature of the soup. Be really careful because this can explode on you. Uh, I'll shoot a video on this soon enough so that way you guys can see. I shot a lot of stuff on it last year, but I'll shoot it again. Um, what a great, what a great day to end. What a great way to end your day with something like that. So there's my bro. What a great, a great way to end your day with uh, something like a bone broth, something nice and warm at the end of the day. Sometimes I end my day with a whey protein shake. I'm trying to give you guys variety. This is my variety. Oh, another thing I've had in the last several days too that I almost forgot about was sausage. I just had a bunch, I went to the store, I bought a, duff, a bunch of different types of sausages. I can't even remember all the different ones. I remember one was Italian, I remember one was spicy, one was jalapeno, one was this, one was that. Freaking uh, delicious. Cheese, if you like cheese, cheese is fantastic. Let's not forget about like a charcuterie board. You got cheese and a bunch of various meats, right? Uh, it's been pretty much just all meat for me. I'm not bored, I'm not tired. Now, I will admit, day 11, day 12, I started kind of feeling a little jumpy. I was like, oh man, like, that commercial looked really good, I'd love to eat that, you know, and you, you, those, those Carl's Jr. commercials and shit like that start to hit you. My son's been eating animal fries whenever we go to In-N-Out, so I've been kind of checking those out. I'm like, those, those look amazing. Um, yeah, I've been feeling a little froggy. My wife, dipped into some ice cream last night and I was like, damn, I'd love to have that ice cream. Oh, the last thing is my, yog is my uh, yogurt recipe. So get yourself some plain yogurt. You can get the full fat one if you want and uh, it'll be creamy. Mix, mix some protein powder in there. I think you'll like the taste of it. It's not the most amazing thing, but it kind of gives you a protein pudding type of thing at the end of the night. And for those of you who have a sweet tooth, I guarantee it will at least kill the sweet tooth. If you want a protein recommendation to throw in there, you can use Mark Bell Slingshot Protein. You might want to go check that out. That would be a great option. That's what I usually do. Gives you a good, good amount of protein at the end of the day. So I know that this is tough to get through, but I want you guys to really stick with it because I know in week three and week four is when you really see the most progress really happen. And you're going to um, start to even feel a little bit better. You got to give this diet uh, some time to really grow and mature. And if you've fallen off and you're like, man, like if you, if you've fallen off, there's a reason why you're watching this video right now, you know? So I, I want you to continue onward. I want you to, to, I want you to just go at it again. 
so what you messed up? We, we all mess up, we all make mistakes. I cheat, I want to cheat on my diet every day. Do you guys understand, you guys understand, like a lot of you big boys out there and a lot of you girls that are, are heavier than you want to be, you're like, yeah, man, I, I, <laughs> that hits me hard. I want to cheat on my diet every day. I want to throw heavy cream in my coffee every single morning, but I don't do it. Why? Why don't I do it? Partly, one of the reasons why I do it is because I'm Mark Bell, right? And I mean something uh, to, each, to each one of you, and I have like a standard to uphold. So that's part of it. The other part of it is like I'm tired of being what I was yesterday. I don't want to be that anymore. I want to be better than I was yesterday. So how can I be better than I was yesterday? Can I just like grit my teeth and like, uh, and just try to muscle through everything? Maybe, but that probably wouldn't last a really long time. How about we just be consistent for a really long time? We try to make the correct choices as much as we possibly can. I know that some of you have slip, slipped up. I know that some of you fell off. And if you have fallen off, try some of the recommendations that I just threw out there right now. Don't be afraid to mix things up. Don't be afraid to order a pizza and peel all the cheese and meat off of it and eat that instead. Eat that for your dinner for the night. Whatever you have to do to stay in this game, do it. If you gotta make up some chaffles, do it. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. Thank you guys so much. Tell me what your favorite part of the carnivore diet is. What's your favorite variety meal that might be a little different that other people aren't thinking about? Catch you guys later.